Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> yes. Big game. That'll be the end of the season. What's your thoughts for it? Um, yeah, it is. Um, obviously, we want to finish the season well. Um, I have to make decisions based on the squad. Um, you know, I think everyone will agree that next Saturday is a huge, huge game for the football club. You know, we've we've got a lot of knocks. We've got a lot of little minor injuries. So it's something I have to look at over the next 48 hours uh, and make a decision what's the, the best for us to approach both teams. Would you say it's probably less than ideal with playing a derby? Hamilton Mullerwell was always quite fiery affairs to, anyway. Last game of the season, would you prefer it to be somewhat not the last game of the season as it were before the cup final that to play? Um, I think you can pick up injuries any time. Obviously we have to, it will be a competitive game. You know, uh, there's bragging rights with the fans. You know, we've both, I think we've played five, four games, one, two each. You know, so it'll be the bragging right for the season. But you know, I have to weigh up as well. We have got a very small squad. People, whoever plays, believe me, we'll put a competitive team out, and they're playing for places. They're playing for places either on the bench or at the starting lineup. You know, things can change very quickly in football. So it, it's up to the boys that I put out to make sure they take their opportunities. Some have waited a little while for it. Some are uh, are needing the fitness. Some haven't played for a couple of weeks. And they're obviously boys that I'll look to maybe rest as well and make sure they're 100% ready to go for next Saturday. As the days sort of tick down and you see the banners and whatnot in and around the town as well, do you still get that? Do you begin to get that buzz? Has that buzz been there already? Or does it begin to you know, have to keep your emotions in check at this point? I think once we... We get to take care of Saturday. Um, we'll really start focusing on it. I've had one eye on it, obviously, since the party game. We're extremely disappointed with St Johnson's performance. Very, very unlike us. As I repeatedly said, you don't get 19 clean sheets if you defend like that. And it was a one-off. So what we had to do was make sure we could put in a performance on, on Tuesday. And second half, I thought we'd done that against a team battling for their lives. Um, so that was, you know, we've we've got a lot of positivity back around the place. We didn't want to end on that, that 5-1 defeat. So now it's just balancing up what's the best thing to do on Saturday. Um, we want to finish seventh, you know, we want to finish seventh. Yeah, I will make some changes tomorrow um, based on injuries, really, based on, on people carrying knocks. You know, there is quite a few people, maybe five or six, that started the game the other night. That would be their third game in a week that have been prone to certain injuries. Um, so I have to be a little bit clever with that there. But not to the detriment of the game. We want to finish seventh. You know, your point is completely valid. We want to finish seventh. You know, 20 pounds into the club is important, never mind 60,000, you know, so it, it really is very, very important. Who, who are you, the, the players that are injured? Are you able to give a, a uh, there, there's, there's a few that are that I've missed training, I haven't trained yesterday. Um, you know, as Cormac McHugh's got a, a rib injury, um, Liam Grimshaw, you know, we've we've also got Cedric Kipper has got a hand injury, you know, Curtis Mayne's still got a, a wrist injury as well. Um, so there's, there's quite a few of them that have little niggling injuries that we just need to look at. Um, you know, as I say, if it was the cup final, we could probably get away with playing them. But I have to use the full squad. You know, there's been people crying out for opportunities. The the bench isn't picked yet, and, and by no means the starting lineup. There's still places to play for. So there'll be people going out with points to prove, and and they'll be hopefully put on a show that gives me a real hard decision to make next Saturday. Yeah, and these players you've mentioned, like of McHugh, Main Kipri, I'm sure are these players that that could be doubtful for the cup final, or if you give them a rest this week, would you be confident they'll They'll make the 19th okay. Yeah, I think once we, you know, we give them a couple of days, I think they'll be okay. Um, some will be involved. You know, I just don't have a big enough squad to change everybody, unfortunately. So some will have to pay through that there. But the ones that we feel could be a little bit of a risk, we will take out of the game. It's a good wee incentive, though, isn't it, for for maybe players who are, who are now getting the chance on Saturday if they do play well, as you say, it gives you a headache. It's it's a good incentive for them to go out and show you that that they, they need to be in that involved in that cup final some way. Yeah, definitely. You know and. Uh, there is places up for grabs. I always use Liam Grimshaw as the 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 case um, that he played against Aberdeen before the League Cup final, and he played that well. That I had no choice but to start him in the final, and uh, and he proved a, it proved a good decision. You know, so that's the same for everybody. You know, football changes very very quickly. People that maybe haven't had quite the opportunity they think they should have had, then it's up to them to step up. You know, I find when people don't play, they become a myth. Um, they become even better when they don't play because the boys that do play get scrutinised, and um, when they make a mistake, it, it, you know it. it gets exaggerated tenfold so it's up to players to step in that's why we have a squad of players um, you know and as I say I can't make as many changes probably there will be some players that have to play because um, even though they may be carrying knocks and we just keep our fingers crossed but as you rightly say a massive opportunity for people in a derby game that you know we have to go and, and compete and do well in and try and win as I say two games each it's up to us to win and, and try and finish seven. You, I mean, obviously, you you signed up with four players, and um, last season, and looking ahead, obviously to to next season. Now, are, are you able to 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 kind of think ahead to that? Are you at that stage yet, or with these two important games coming up, are you going to put that on, on the back burner for the minute? 
No, no, we have. We've we've started our recruitment already. Um, we've made offers to three or four different players in different positions. Um, all on top of the ones that we already retained. You know, I think the business that we've done already has been fantastic. You know, sometimes you you forget what we have in the building. You know, to get them boys on a new contract. Ram Bowman's been excellent the last few weeks. Richard Tate throughout the season, and the two boys at the back. Uh, you know, Donny and Cedric. Great signings for us. So we've we've tried to strengthen the squad in certain areas we feel we're weaker and we've made offers to players you know outside of the football club and some are thinking about it some have turned it down um but we you know we're we're actively looking in the market at the moment so you've made offers to players who, who are who are not here at the minute who are out, out with motherwell yes yeah. boys that are out of contract at other clubs um both in england and scotland you know we've we're speaking to at this moment in time and and hopefully we'll have answers in those in the the next 10 days